Capricorn. Welcome guys. Okay, so today I want to try something a little bit different. I wanted to sort of do a little window into our soulmate's life. So we're going to do a read today actually for your soulmate. So keep your ears open because if you are in a relationship right now, some of this might resonate with you, which would indicate that you have already found your soulmate. Uh, but if not, this will definitely sort of tell you where that person is at in life. Uh, we're going to use the energy oracle cards for this read and we have two that wanted to pop out here so we're going to get started with these guys so we have a willing release so there is something that your soulmate is dealing with right now uh something that they're hanging on to some old baggage from the past that they're gonna have to let go of to be able to move forward and open up uh, to a new love to a relationship with you i do have healing the heart as well so these definitely go hand in hand. Uh, maybe there is a breakup. Maybe they have just come out of a romantic relationship. I do have a higher view. A higher view speaks of wisdom. Mm. And this is what they're going to get from this willing release. This is going to be a special insight into what they really want in a partner. I do have a burst of magic. A burst of magic is a lot like inspiration. This is tied to higher view. Uh, they're going to be able to reflect on what they've had so far in relationships, see, see the things that didn't work for them, and truly decide on what is important. And guys, that's going to wind up reflecting your traits. That is what they're going to wind up seeing uh, in, in this insight, in this burst of magic this inspiration and tender embrace. Interesting. So this tender embrace is speaking to a connection, a romantic connection. And I do see the word you when I see it. So this is speaking to uh, the connection that you and your soulmate are going to wind up having together. Let's see what Tarot has to say about these guys. So the king of pentacles. Interesting. So Pentacles uh, can be indicative of an earth sign and, and Capricorn would definitely fit within this. This might represent you uh, and sort of how they view you as the ideal partner. All the qualities that they're going to come to see that are important to them, these are qualities that you have. So you're going to be like this king of pentacles. You're going to be like this shining light. You're going to be this ideal that they are looking for in life. The Four of Cups, so the Four of Cups can represent emotional withdrawal. This is tying into their willing release and their healing work, the healing, the heart, having to having to delve into these feelings that they're having right now from this heartache, process them, and then let them go. We also have the King of Swords. Interesting. So this king of swords might speak to their previous relationship and who they were with uh, the traits that can go along with this king of swords that are definitely standing out in my mind uh, are somebody who's cold and unfeeling this is what they've dealt with this is what they're healing from they're healing from a relationship uh, where they put their heart on the line and they emotionally invested and somebody else did not do the same and that's what the king of swords is representing here in this read uh, justice so they might actually be going through a divorce right now this breakup um it might be a marriage that has come to an end. It might also be just a long-term relationship where they actually have to go to court to divide assets, but they are waiting for justice. And this might be what's holding them back from healing as well as they're still going through this process. Uh, so in a way, it's not, it's not entirely final. It's not entirely done. Having the justice card here though, this tells me that the justice is coming. The scales are going to be balanced. They are going to have finality in this situation for themselves. That is going to help with this willing release and this healing the heart. I also have the two of swords. The two of swords represents that indecision, that being torn. Uh, this is all about healing. This is all about uh, letting go of this relationship that they had with this king of swords because i feel like they put a lot into this they invested a lot of time they invested a lot of emotions this was someone they were trying to build a life with and so letting go of that and truly recognizing that it is over they're having a hard time doing that even though they can see that this king of swords was not who they wanted and they're going to be able to see the qualities that really matter to them is not something that this person embodied it's still tough to be able to let that go and walk away and recognize that that chapter is done that's a lot of disappointment that's a lot of hurt and we've all been there right we've all had those disappointments uh, where we've had to be able to recognize that something is coming to an end and it didn't work out the way we wanted it to I have the Queen of Pentacles. This is you, because I see the word you when I see her, and this indicates that you are you are a match. This person is going to be a match. The two of you, we got a king and a queen in the same suit here, guys. Um, I also see in this, I see in these cards the words generosity. 
and kindness. This person's going to take time to heal. If you meet them before they're done all their healing work, they're going to take a lot of extra understanding uh, to work through possibly even trust issues because of all they dealt with with this King of Swords. But we definitely have a match here, uh, this person coming into your life. And this ties into the Tender Embrace card. I see these cards connected together uh, in this, this soulmate connection. These are uh, somebody who you're meant to be with, somebody who you share a lot of the same traits and value with. I have the Nine of Cups as well. The Nine of Cups represents abundance, and Cups is indicative of emotion. So it's that emotional abundance that you are going to find together. I also have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands represents building, building for the future. So like I said, this person was trying to build with this King of Swords. They were trying to build, they invested, they put it all on the line, but this King of Swords was cold. He did not do his part. He might have been dishonest as well, uh, and definitely they got their heart broken. So they're going to have trouble opening up again. They're going to have trouble investing again and building for the future, but I see a lot of positivity in this Four of Wands. So this Four of Wands also speaks to the relationship that is going to come between you and this person and your ability to build for the future but it is going to take some work as well because like I said they're going to still have baggage from the past. I do have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is sometimes called the Apprentice card and he represents learning. So this is going to be a learning process for them because this is their read. It's going to be learning to let go of the past learning to let go of disappointments, learning to let go of, of fear of being hurt again, and learning to open up and trust. And they're going to be able to see in you that you are the person that they want, this higher view, this burst of magic, this inspiration, and this insight as to what really matters to them as a partner. They're going to be able to see that that is for you. And you're going to be able to have this connection. And, and again, Pentacles does speak to, to those earth signs. So uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn like yourself. So this person might actually wind up being an earth sign too, uh, but definitely pentacles can represent uh, that generosity, uh, that success, that wealth, and it might be emotional wealth as well, not necessarily financial, but somebody who's caring and who's giving. And this is this is who they are, and this is who you are. And when the two of you come together, you're going to have an absolutely beautiful connection. They're going to need some extra understanding though if, if they haven't finished their, their healing and their release work yet though, guys. Alrighty, so this is a read for your soulmate. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for tuning in. Take care.